Now we'll build a protocol using the various methods there are for adding a component to a pipeline. Components can be dragged into the protocol building workspace and dropped on to the end of a pipeline. Or they can be dropped in between two components in an existing pipeline. Double-clicking a component in the hierarchy window will automatically position and connect it to the end of the last open-ended pipeline. Right-clicking on, then dragging a component over a component already in a protocol enables you to replace a component in a protocol with another. You'll be prompted to confirm that you want to keep values for parameters with matching names. When adding a component to a pipeline, your positioning of the component will indicate how it will be attached to the preceding component. If the component is being inserted between two components, the cursor changes to a parallel icon and the pipe is highlighted. If the component is creating a branch from the existing pipeline, the cursor changes to the branch icon. When dragging a component into a pipeline, existing pipes are highlighted to indicate how the new component will impact the pipeline structure. Dropping a component here will attach it to the top branch. Dropping a component here will attach it to the bottom branch. Dropping a component here will attach it before the branch. We now have a completed protocol.